Bandicoot 2. Hey guys and girls, welcome back to the walkthrough. We are now in the pits. It's basically a clone of Turtle Woods, but more water, I think. It's a good level. Uh, I've got the mask now, I was getting, so this will make it a whole lot easier. Even though it's pretty easy anyway. And now those birds have managed to escape from underground. Oh, I always take this jump and go jump to get that creature. It used to annoy me. Oh, I never passed as well. It's going to be easy. Very easy. Here we go again. Oh, and so the path splits. This used to confuse the hell out of me when I was younger because I couldn't comprehend how I could go one way and get to the end and then come back and get on the other way as well. I don't know how that's possible because I hate like going backwards. I like looking able to look forwards and see what, you, what, what, what you're heading at. You couldn't do that when um, you're going backwards. It's the same for the Crash Dash level and that sort of thing. Whereas you wonder what Crash Dash is, you'll see that when we get to it to the next level. Whereas if you haven't seen this game before. There's the crystal. Anyway, you need to go left first because um, it's got a little um, a box, a little exclamation mark box, which triggers some boxes over here. Ooh. See, it's annoying. <laughs> yeah, you don't know what's coming, it's like, ah. The bird just managed to be reappeared in there. Gnarly. Ah! Oh, that's close. I never knew that you could just spin those creatures until a while ago, actually. I always thought you had to slide them. So I, so I always slid them. You can, like, just spin them. Even though I like sliding them, because that's my natural instinct when I see those creatures. Just don't jump on them, we'll be fine. They reminded me of, like, turtles, but, like, with razors instead. Razor turtles. Fire in my razor! What? Anyway, so better this way. I need to get something random. It's a very smart razor turtle. You know, it's weird sounds, but like, sort of sounds. Like hissing. It's like, okay, calm down. Uh, Here we go. This is more a bit done. You think if that's a bit, if, if that's making your mind go, whoa, at the moment, you wait till like one of the last levels, night fly. I think it has a split path on that bit, and it's really hard because it's in the dark. But of course, I'll get it done. That's what hardest level. The hardest level is cold, hard crash in the world, before, which I won't be looking forward to. But it's still a good level, the same, I suppose. Because crash, crash is a good game. Uh, what I do here is I bounce on each of them once. I give you my little tactic. Two, three. And then for some reason, letting them go for a bit, to spend a bit of time. For some reason, but you can then break them when you jump onto them. It's weird. I jump on the second one. Get these lives. No, I don't think we need lives at the moment, but I'm trying to go for 99, I suppose I do. That's pretty much bonus round done. There we go. Back to the top now. Continue on. More of these pit things. Maybe that's the reason why this level's called the pits. I'm just saying. Slide. There we go. And everything just falls down from above. A little light there that's gone, just frame jump down like very good crash. I've got your back. Here we are! Back in the walk room. It's all good. This is one last level. On to the little crash dash fin. What? We can't go forward, you're thinking? Tension music. Yes, it's the return of the rolling bulls. Go on, Crash. Run, Crash, run! I've got a fun father! For some reason, it's that massive, that the present will die things when it 
Bulls running towards it. Dramatic dive forwards. That's probably a stunt man doing that though, for the crash. Can't let Crash get hurt, can we? No stunt dives. Give it up, it's very aquatic. Probably the latter. I don't know what I'm about. Anyway, these are great. I don't even know what these things are, these glowing things. Just don't go near them. Or go through those. Otherwise, I'll get a bit of a shock. To put it like that, eh? The thing is, though, I always want to do the sliding and jumping thing to get ahead. But if you've got these pits, then it's not the best idea to, really, is it? Put people down and um, die. Yeah, that's the first bit done. It just falls to that hole there. Bang. Bonus round. Like the one in um, Hang 8, I think. Reject the skewed. What can I do this? Yes! Skillage. Oh, this thing. No, I know this. I think, to be precise, it's five hits on each box. That in, this, in, in this game. It varies throughout the games. I can't be asked that I'm going to do this. Jump back here a bit. Wait a second. Come on. A couple of times for that one then. There we go. Okay, this round, then. I'll be dabbing something weird. Some reason they shoot to crush along. Nice little touch for it. Crash, get ahead. You need to try and get ahead though, this bit, I must say. Especially when you get those arrows are a bit of a warning for that. Once you get to the, um, the. There's another wooden bit here. Ah! Curse you, endless pit! It's been along here because there's some boxes placed conveniently behind these electro things. It's a bit of a ta challenge to get them, rather. Did it though? Boxes are stuck there, like, oh, I can't get in. Hello, oh, yeah, Crash. This is what room done. Indiana Jones, eat your heart out. Oh, I think at least I have enough time to get the first boss done. A familiar face as well, as I think Cortex says. Give it up, Snow. Listen up. We are not without enemies. Oh, Some rather, of you are. You may I'm even recognized. Right. Although they cannot harm you inside this warp room, they can attack you on your way to the next one. To get to the next warp room, use the platform that appears in the center of the room. Good luck. Dang. What dastardly fiend you have to face then? Everything now apart from that gem there, which we'll get to next time. And why isn't this working? Come on. You're gonna have to be spot in the middle for this thing. Oh well, it's an awesome platform, so I'll let it go. Yes, it's our good friend from Peru. But for some reason, this turns out to be a teacher. So this looks like bouncing around. Although he's got a pegasus now to help him out. Go over here. For some reason, when he explodes, he goes mad and turns into. To, I don't know. He wears a big yellow wig. Well, that makes sense, of course. Oh, flash with some pull ups. Take a mickey out of him. I love this glitch here. Bounce, 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 I'm in the wrong area. I have to be in the middle for this one. I oh, knew it. My bad, in the middle. Over here. Oh no, it's the last one you've got to be in the middle for. Oh, I was almost. Ah! Ooh. Maybe not in the middle. It's a little bit down here. It's tight space. And he's done. 
Super Pabu. He got pwned by Crash and he tried again. Why do I do that? Success. See you next part.